In a ceremony in Tehran, Defense Ministry officials celebrated the advent of the National Day of Defense Industries, with unveiling two new PGMs of Yasin and Balaban, and a new member of the family of Keem Electro-Optical Guided Bombs. The minister lauded the advancements of his country in the field of defense equipment and added that the new munitions are aimed at increasing Iran's defensive capabilities and strengthen its deterrence power. He added that Balaban PGM enjoys very advanced features like folding wings to increase its operational range, while it uses hybrid inertial navigation system, INS, global positioning system, GPS, guidance. Iran has made major achievements in manufacturing different weapons and military equipment. On Monday, Commander of the Iranian Air Force Brigadier General Aziz Nasirzadeh said his force plans to utilize smart systems, particularly munitions, along with developing equipment and machinery, in its unmanned fleet of drones. On Sunday, Iranian Navy Commander Rear Admiral Hossein Kanzardi announced that Damavan Destroyer, which has been under overhaul for the past 18 months, is now enjoying many new features and will soon be equipped with Vertical Launching System VLS, missile cells. Back in November 2018, Kanzadi underlined that the country's experts have decreased the time needed for manufacturing destroyers to less than two years. Today, we enjoy the capacity to build destroyers in a time span of less than two years, and we are making efforts to reduce it to less than one year, Rear Admiral Kanzadi said in an interview with the Arabic language Al Alam News Channel. Iran tests new smart bombs. Tehran's Mass Air Force drill peaks as Iriev tests fighter jets new anti-missile systems, guided smart bombs, said to have range of 40 km Iran's fleet of fighter jets has been equipped with new anti-missile capability, allowing them to detect and intercept all incoming missiles, the state-run FARS news agency reported on Wednesday. The announcement, made by the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force Iriev, came in the midst of one of the biggest aerial exercises even held in Iran. The 10-day maneuvers, dubbed Fadi and e Haram e Velayat 3, those sacrificing themselves for the homeland 3, are currently being held in country's northwestern region. The new system's capability was demonstrated during the third phase of the exercise. The system is considered a breakthrough in design for the Iranian weapons and defense industry. The exercise also saw the IRIF test other advanced weapons systems, including various air-to-surface and air-to-air -air missiles, as well as what has been called super-heavy smart bombs, Air Force Commander Brig Gen Hossein Chitfarish confirmed that an Iranian F-4 bomber had fired cast smart bombs, successfully hitting its targets, Fars reported. The 2,000-pound smart bombs are said to possess a range of 40 kilometers, as well as smart guidance system. Chitfarish also confirmed the successful test fire air-to-surface and air-to-air -air missiles. The Iranian-made Sika fighter jets also enjoys a successful test run. Iran's aerial exercise encompasses its entire fleet of fighter jets, bombers, cargo and transportation planes, including F-4, F-5, Sukhoi Su-24 bombers, MiG-29 jets and C-130 planes, as well as their own Sika fighter jets. The drill was announced shortly after Iran's Revolutionary Guard held a 10-day missile training exercise for ground troops. As part of the war games, Iran test fired its various ballistic missiles. Iran Air Force tests smart bombs in drills. F-7 warplanes fired smart bombs, long-range bombs with pinpoint accuracy, and homegrown rockets during the aerial exercises on Tuesday, General Masad Ruzkosh, the spokesman for the war game said. According to the general, F-5 fighter jets and homegrown Sika Lightning jets also dropped 500-pound bombs on various targets in the operation zone. Codenamed Aerial Power of Fadi and e Haram e Velayat 7, devotees of Velayat Airspace 7, the drills involve all air bases of the IRF and will last for two days. Dozens of bomber airplanes, fighter jets, military transport aircraft, communication and reconnaissance planes, tanker aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, have taken part in the war game. During the first day, the Air Force's electronic warfare units exercised various tactics, and C-130 Hercules transport planes also exercised tactical unloading practices, with aerial support from F-14 jets.